Hey guys, so I had already done one video where I discussed some items that I had purchased solely based on packaging and the way that they look. And then it was just kind of like, oh no, there's a lot more. There is a lot more, okay? But again, I'm not gonna bombard you with item upon item upon item upon item. So I'm just going to go through the ones that I know I can fit in a digestible video. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing, I'm holding it here in my hands because, listen, I can't balance it anyway. And it's these rose gold brushes. They are Dusty AF. These are a dupe of the Real Techniques rose gold brushes. I think the, these ones I've got from AliExpress, I believe. Absolutely fell in love with the way that these look. <sighs> I think in the real, I think the real ones had like rose gold, yellow gold and silver. But the people who were replicating these, they made uh, sets, like the full set, but just in like rose gold or the full set in silver, the full set in yellow gold. And then they did actually do the full sets in the original colors where there was like two brushes which were rose gold, two brushes which were yellow gold and two brushes which were silver. So you kind of had the option of what did you want to get? but I absolutely love rose gold. So I got the rose gold ones and I got three sets and they were like five pounds each. I haven't used not one of them, not one of them. They sit in this little rose gold detailed cup on my vanity and they stay there. And there's another set of brushes that I purchased just for the way that they look. Wait there. And it's these ones. I think they are a dupe of the, San the Sonia Kashuk brushes, which are hella expensive and I was not prepared to be spending no money like that on a set of brushes. So I got these ones. I think these ones were about 10, 15 pounds, if I remember correctly. And again, they sit there on my vanity, never been washed, never been used, never simply for display purposes only. And I just adore the way that they look. They get so dusty, because I look, I don't know if you can see all of that, because they just sit there doing absolutely jack. And all the brushes that I use, they never get any, they don't get dust on them or well, not as much dust on them because I use them over and over and over again. I just can't bring myself to use these pretty brushes. I know that I could purchase more and it's like, I don't want to. I just want to keep them nice and pretty for my vanity. So yeah. Okay, next is the iHeart Makeup Highlighters. These are a part of the iHeart Makeup Chocolate Bar range and you know that if I have the eyeshadow palettes, I had to get the highlighter palettes. This is what this particular highlighter looks like. But I just adored the ombre, peach, drippy, drippy, cute, compact. And I was like, oh, I need to get it. Does this smell like peach? No. And I, I found that a little bit strange that they never made this smell like peach because they made their peach palette smell like peach. So why wouldn't you make the peach and glow smell like peach as well? That would have been amazing because it, the original peach palette that they put out smelt amazing. Okay, so I'm just a little bit baffled and shocked as to why they didn't do that. But yeah, I got that strictly for the, uh, the packaging because a lot of these shades, they're a bit too reddish on me. They're not, like the ones down here, I can get away with wearing, but these ones up here, they're a little bit too pigmented. They're a little bit too peach. And I don't know who can really use this as a highlight, like on this side anyway. But um, you could, as I've said a million and one times, you can use pressed powders for whatever you want. And I, I mean, I can double it up for my eyeshadow, but seeing as they're highlighters, I mean, I would have expected to be able to use it as a highlight, but I'm not. Next is the Viseart Trist palette. I absolutely fell in love with the way that this looks. I do really like the way that the shadows themselves look as well, don't get me wrong. But I think like the selling point for me was this rose gold, sleek looking, high end looking palette. It's just so pretty. So even though at one point I was on the fence about it, like should I get it, shouldn't I get it? I don't think I should get it because I've already got so many similar shades. But then I was like, mm, for birthday coming up, I really want something. I'm gonna just go and get it. So that's exactly what ended up happening. <sighs> I just love the way that it looks. I, it's just pretty. You know when it comes to rose gold, because again, we have rose gold here, 
when it comes to rose gold if it's done properly and it's done in a classic way chances are i'm going to want to buy it i'm gonna want to buy it like come on next is the born this way foundation by Too faced i mean they had really good reviews on this foundation but <sighs> this bottle it is so high-end looking i remember when all of the girls were they were reviewing this foundation and i was just like oh my gosh this looks so sleek it looks so beautiful and sometimes you'd see the actual outside cardboard packaging as well and it's just like everything is just so pretty it's just so pretty i heard nothing but good things about this foundation anyway but it was just kind of like this is so pretty how can i not want it it's like the pink with the gold details and then this bottle it just looks so luxurious i wanted it so i just had to get it i had to get it so i went into the store i i went i think it was debenhams i went into there and i i color matched myself because at this point they only had like a little stand they didn't have their own designated section in this particular debenhams they had their own little stand and they were surrounded by other little stands like the balm and black up and whatnot where it's just basically general uh store staff would be in that area helping you out with literally any brand and so there wasn't anybody around at that point so i just literally color matched myself i said to the lady please can you get me the color golden because obviously they only have the sample ones the sample ones out faster please can you get me the full size and i was paying for it and on my way but absolutely love the packaging of this i mean Too faced they always seem to get it right but do you know what i mean by this is cute and girly but it's still classy it's it's not cutesy wootsy but somebody you know what i can't remember who it was on youtube who said it but they said something along the lines like they have two different types of demographic like they have uh, girls who are into the cute cartoony aspect of Too Faced where it's like vomit inducingly cute Too Faced products and then there's like girls who are just a little bit more mature who still are into the the girly kind of thing but are not like into the cartoony kind of way because you know like you got the clover palette and stuff like that the festival palette like those are just so overly cute claire's cute but this doesn't fall into that category it's a little bit more mature and i think that's why it definitely spoke to me because it's still girly it's still cute but it's still mature lastly something i am yet to review is the face shop coca-cola palette i oh this was on my anti haul and i was like oh i don't know if i should get it i already have all of these kind of shades but look at this it's so pretty it's so cute and the thing is like you know oh you know i already have all of these shades and i just did not need to have these again but i was just kind of like this packet this like it's sleek it's compact it's it's just so sweet it's just so sweet so in the end i had to i had to give in i i did give in but as i said there will be a review of this palette so i don't really want to give away too much on it because i am going to be doing a review on this palette so if you do want to hear my thoughts about this and see a tutorial then i'll be doing that so just keep that in mind all right keep it in mind okay so those are all of the items that i purchased for packaging let me know if you feel like i was right to if i was wrong to what items that you liked that you bought just for the packaging or even if you fall for this whole packaging hype anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye